Fear is a signal. Fear is an emotion. Fear is neither good nor bad. But the outcome of our fear or the produce of our fear is how we wield it. So we could either wield it in our favor or wield it against us. So many people wield it against them and that's why they see fear as a bad thing. But, in, in, um, but the truth is fear is neither bad nor good. Hi guys, my name is Judith Izzo. I'm a mindset coach. Um, I share content on all things related to mindset and emotional well-being to help you upgrade your mind, your life, your business and your finances. So if you love content about this related topics, um, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I drop some really hot mindset related videos. Alright, so let's get into the meat of today. Today I'm talking about how to overcome fear or five ways to overcome fear. So basically, what, well first of all, what is exactly is fear? So like I said earlier on, fear is an emotion. It is a signal that um, gets sent to your mind when you, you are in an unfamiliar zone. It's a signal that gets sent to your mind when you are in an unfamiliar zone. So for instance, as a child, you're in the kitchen and you're getting close to the pot and you dip your hand into a very hot pot and you get burnt. Now, what happens? You get burnt and then you feel the hurt. Now, that experience stores in your mind, gets stored in your mind as an, a negative experience. And the emotion that was emitted, you probably cried was a negative emotion because if it was a positive one you probably would be laughing so it's not tears of joy right you actually cried because you felt pain now that experience gets stored in your mind and when next you see fire or you see something maybe the pot just um, on the fire maybe there's only there's no there's there's even no fire beneath your mind picks up from that previous experience and like my god there is fire there, I'm going to feel that pain again. So, in that moment, if it was a real fire, what fear did projected for you was to protect you. So in that instant, it was a good thing for you to feel fearful for, um, about the fire when getting close to the fire. But the problem is, as we grow older, we get into certain situations, have certain experiences, um, fear tends to show up in different aspects of our life, especially in very unfamiliar zones. And when it gets projected on us, we just tend to hold back because we feel, oh my goodness, fear is here, then it must be bad. But the truth is fear is neither bad nor good. Fear can be bad and fear can be good. So um, when it comes to negative fear, that's the bad fear, right? Where, how do you overcome this kind of fear? So I'm going to talk about some, um, some tips on how to overcome them. Number one, accept it. When I say accept it, um, I'm talking about accepting the fact or acknowledging the fact that, okay, you have this particular fear, right? So accepting the fact that you have that particular fear. So if it's the fear of public speaking, so it could be the fear of public speaking and accepting it will mean that, okay, you are aware, you have that awareness of the fact that you are scared of this fear and you accept that fact. Accepting it does not mean that you own it, right? So there's a difference between accepting and owning something. When someone gives you a plate of rice, you can accept that plate and pass it on to someone else who will eat it. You do not own it. You can accept it, accept just to accept it and acknowledge the fact that, oh, thank you for giving me this. But then you can pass it on to someone else. And that's what you do with a, you know, when you talk about the kind of fear that holds you back from achieving your goals, you accept it and then know how to wield it aside, take it aside, right? So if you do not accept it, it means you're separating yourself from that fear you are trying to deny the fear your mind knows has the experience that when you have this fear so trying to deny it is like basically trying to deceive your own self i don't know if you get what i'm saying but i hope that you do it's like trying to deceive your own self that oh i don't have this fear you know when people want to talk about 
positive talks and all that. No, it works <laughs> when people want to talk about it. It's like trying to deceive your own self, right? So, accept it. Then number two, identify it. So, you've accepted that you have fear. But what kind of fear is it? Is it a fear of public speaking? If it's the fear of public speaking, what exactly am I afraid of when it comes to public speaking? Am I scared of criticism? Other people's opinion? Am I scared of success? Maybe after I speak at that event, people start calling me, people start reaching out to me and say, Oh, Juliet, we need you to speak at that, my event. And then you're thinking, Oh, God, what if I do not know the exact things to say? What if I do not know the words to say? Right? And then what it could also be the fear of failure. What if you probably are thinking, Oh, my goodness, if I get up there on stage, I'm, 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 my mind is going to just go blank. I'm not going to be able to deliver my speech as I want to. So in my book, um, The Magnetic Mind, I think the second chapter, the chapter two of this book, I talk about, I, I did a deep, a deep dive into the different kinds of fear, the different stages of fear and their origin. I did a deep dive of the different kinds of fear, the different stages of fear, their origin, where they originated from, and basically how to deal with them extensively. So you should get a copy of my book if you want to learn how to deal with fear, right? Apart from dealing with fear, there are several other things that basically helps your mindset, help you to attract your desires. The book is The Magnetic Mind, How to Tap into the Limitless Power of the Mind to Attract Your Desires. So if this is something that you want, you want to be able to hack your mindset to attract all of your desires, then you absolutely need to get this. Moving on, the next thing that you can do um, to overcome fear is to visualize success. So if you're scared of public speaking, that's the fear, right? Then visualizing success will basically see yourself in that space, in that space place where you are speaking to the public and you know, you're done with your speech and then everybody stands up and then they're so, so happy. They've been so blessed by your speech and then they are clapping for you. This is the visualization of the victory of visualizing how you want that success to be. So this basically helps you alleviate your fear. So this basically helps you. So when fear comes knocking, you're like, oh my goodness, see the big picture. Now the, the, the thing about visualization is the fact that the mind doesn't know what is real and what is not. So when you visualize success like that, he thinks that it is real. And when fear comes knocking, you just present that experience. Like, oh, see people clapping for me. And then, you know, it just kind of like goes back into, you know, it's, it's cave. So finally, number four is to get help. If fear is something that has really held you back, consistently over and over again you're not able to take the required action you know that these are the things that you should be doing you can see other people that you're even better than they are doing those things they are achieving those feats but you cannot because you are fear you are held still down by fear then my dear please get help get professional help get therapy and um, one help that i'm going to recommend to you is getting my book it has um, all of the help that you require basically I'm not telling you this because I wrote the book I'm telling you this because for a fact it is true so I talk about extensively about fear it was I in fact fear the chapter on fear is the longest chapter in this book and that's because I wanted to deal mercilessly <laughs> with it right so you should get this book and basically get all the help that you think that would help you move from a place of fear to a place of courage so I hope this video helps. Um, if you like the content of this video, please leave a thumbs up. Please leave a thumbs up and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell until I come your way next time again. My name is Juliet Israel and for now, it's a bye-bye.